be where I'm Rob. Rob is available. Starting? No. At the minute limit, still 20. Is that the plan? Yeah, technically, he could go in the 24 minute range. Yeah, that's been determined, but um, you know, be a little cautious with that. I'll keep more around 20 if, if at max. Yeah, like five minutes each quarter, you can save some for more. Shorter stints, uh, still deciding when we want to bring him in, um, but you know, just found out he's fully available and went through a few scenarios and different rotations. So we'll determine that here after media. Okay. That's something that you do short stints early. If he's feeling good, it could be longer later. I think it'll be short stints in general, regardless of when we use him. Uh, won't run him extra long there, but uh, determining how he feels when he comes out of those short stints, he, he, we could run him longer and or bring him back in at certain times. And so we'll determine that with the rotations shortly. At what point this week did he look like a potential like he could return? Uh, I, I wouldn't just say this week, but the buildup has been good. Like I said, he's met every benchmark and, and has said had no problems, restrictions, uh, swelling, pain. And so after the heavy sessions, he's felt felt really good. And so that was kind of what led up to it. And uh, I would say even before this week, he was progressing well at all, at all points. How much of the minutes distribution is going to be based on the matchups that are out there and how much is going to be based on like the trainer saying this is how much rest he should have this is how much like how long a stint he should play yeah, i don't think it's as much based off matchups we you feel comfortable with him in all situations and so uh when we want to get him in to get him those those rest periods um and i think that plays more into it than who's on the court for brooklyn what are you looking for in terms of building tonight you know we're headed things just uh, playing his normal game and how comfortable he is, you know, getting his confidence back. Yeah. He's had some good 20, 25 minute uh, scrimmage sessions. But like I said earlier, you can kind of monitor yourself in those at times and you can't do that so much in the game. So seeing how he feels reacting to those minutes, those short stints, and then confidence wise, how he looks and feels out there, which, like I said, everything leading up to this uh, points in positive direction. Like about your defense on Kevin, it seems like some of them are shots that he's missed that he's been able to make over the entire, maybe his entire career, but other shots that he's taken and missed and the turnover, obviously, a stock up your defense. What do you like about the defense? And do you think it could sustain itself for another game or two? Yeah, I would say our physicality and attention to where he is at all times uh, by not only the initial player guarding him, but the, the team in general. So, um, game one, he got away from us at times and missed some shots, but. Uh, game two, we were much better as far as taking up the airspace, sending them to where we want to, and then our help coming. And so uh, attention to detail has been great as far as that. Physicality has been great. And then at times, you know, that wears on people and they start to pr press a little bit and then they miss some shots they normally would make. So not to take all the credit for it, but he's missed some shots that are makeable. Obviously, he's made his whole career. And so uh, we got to continue to pay attention to that and not let him get going. Uh, at times, making plays and having others attempt to beat us is part of the game plan.